Taylor, when you <coughs> analyzed the offensive line play Saturday, what was your assessment? Um, obviously, we didn't execute uh, to the level of our expectations. Um, you know, and there's all the, the all the excuses there that you could use, but um, you know we're not going to use those. We you know we expect a high level of execution regardless of a short work week or a quick turnaround from a from a bare defense to an odd defense. Um, and we just got to get better. That's all it is. We just got to get better. Um, you know, I, I didn't necessarily expect it to be a finished product this early in the season. Um, I did think we played a lot better against Virginia Tech than we did against Hawaii. Um, but you know, you just got to improve. You just got to improve, and uh, you know, I think you know we're in a good situation where you know we're, we're kind of unhappy with how we played, even though we did win 38 to nothing. So um, you know, the RA has improved, but you know, at the end of the day, we did get the win, um, and we just have to improve this next week. Hey Taylor, Urban had said that odd defense has been giving you guys fits in the past too. Indiana and Navy, he mentioned. Mm -hmm. Is there any concern that there's an issue there that you have? Yet to solve, or? Um, no, I mean, I think, you know, we, we, we've seen every defense there is, and, we're, you know, we're going to continue to see all kinds of different things, and, you know, teams are going to come up with new schemes, new blitzes, uh, you know, just different stuff to do to us just to try to throw us off because um, you just can't sit back and, you know, play a base, you know, four-down defense or anything like that against us, and uh, we know that. And, you know, we just got to prepare better, and, you know, I think, you know, we just – some guys need to get their confidence back. Um, it, it, that they can play at the at the level that we're expecting them to, um, you know. I, th I think we'll be fine. I think it's just a matter of, you know, just getting back in game rhythm. And you know, we were we definitely were flat. Um, you know, I'm not going to name names across the team in general, but I just think, you know, some guys just weren't, you no, know, you know, as ready to play as they should have been. So what do you maybe say to if you see a three four in the future, you'll have yeah. figured it out. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I have all the confidence in the world now. I mean, we did struggle against them, against Hawaii, and, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for, you know, they came around, they played really hard. And, you know, it's not like they had bad players. They did have some pretty good players on their defense. Um, so, you know, it was a combination of, you know, our just lack of execution, and, you know, they are going to make some plays. Defenses are going to make plays against us. Um, so I think we'll be fine. I think we'll figure it out, and, you know, moving forward, we'll improve, you know, against those sorts of defenses. Taylor, after the game, Coach Meyer made a point to say, like, hey, we're going to make sure we still enjoy this win. And, you know, this is what I did at what happened at Florida in 2009. And mm -hmm. Just like, you know, try to live up to expectations so much that you cannot enjoy it. Did he hit that with you guys at all? Did he try to emphasize that point at all? Of 100 percent. Yeah. Still enjoy it? Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, like, like I said, the first thing he said when he came in the locker room, he was like, you know, how cool is it that we were at a school and we play for a team that winning 38 to nothing? Um, you know, we're upset with that. Um, but it is hard to win in college football games. Uh, you know, every team is going to have good players and they are going to make plays and, you know, things aren't always going to be perfect. You know, even on a, in a big win where you feel like you did everything right, you can still learn from those games. Um, so I think it's important for us to, to realize that, you know, wins aren't easy to come by, especially, you know, at a high level of college football. Um, so we did enjoy it, and you know we had our victory meal yesterday. We came in here, we watched the film. You know it wasn't like we were just getting berated uh, for how we played. You know we're going to learn from it and we're going to improve, um, and just go back to work, just get better. You know not worry about you know things that went wrong. You just got to improve from it. What did they do that bothered y'all the most? Was it just not being in the same place at the same time every other play? I mean, what what just bothered y'all the most up front, Taylor? Um, it, it was just, for one, I think it was kind of difficult to identify where their blitzes were coming from. Um, and they threw all kinds of blitzes at us. Um, and, you know, not to you know make an excuse, but, you know, we had one week in pads uh, going into it. Um, and then, you know, they just did some, some odd things. You know, sometimes they would slant their D-line into a blitz, which, you know, you don't see. It's kind of unorthodox. Um, and I just I just think we had to be... You know, we just had to slow down our footwork a little bit. I think guys were coming off the ball a little too quick and just kind of missing stuff. Um, and then, you know, at times we were getting in the wrong plays because uh, we thought they were bringing a blitz that wasn't necessarily what they were going to bring. Yeah. Um, so it was just, a lot, I think it was a lot of miscommunication on the field. Um, and then just like I said, a lack of execution 
um, and just sticking to your rules. You know, I wrote this, and I don't know if it's accurate, but uh, it looked like when y'all just, <laughs> just decided to go after them, I mean, just get after them up front, especially with Ezekiel. I'm up front and straight ahead type stuff. Yeah. That y'all y'all seem to find some rhythm there and stuff. Did did you kind of did you kind of find your you know your offensive line mojo with doing that kind of you know what I mean? And yeah, I mean that's what kind of what we were asking for on the sideline, the offensive line, because um, you know we came in with a game plan and uh, you know it didn't work necessarily as as well as we wanted to, and you know go to what works. You know we like running tight zone right up the middle, yeah. and you know even though you know a, a weird defense that you know we don't see. Um, you know, it's you know our tight zone works great against four down, but you know we think it can work good against anything. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll run it against a bear, you know, an odd team. So that is actually what we were kind of wanting as an offensive line on the sideline, just just run it right up the middle, run you know, run our base plays, um, and then it, it, it ended up working. So um, that is that is kind of what we wanted. Is there a little noise when you look at them on defense? Uh, what, what do you what do you see about? I mean. You know, remember like y'all went against Virginia Tech last year and then everybody tried to emulate what they did. Yeah. Uh, do you expect that from what team saw from the Hawaii game to kind of try the same thing? Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, is it yeah. I mean, I think uh, anybody's going to, you know, if they see something that, you know, worked or yeah. slowed us down, of course they're going to try it. I mean, I think it'd be, you know, dumb not to. Um, and I haven't actually had a chance to see a ton of film of them or get our scouting report on them because that's what I'm going to do right after I'm done here. Um, but I just know, like, and you know, the past, the past years, they've just been a, a solid team all around. You know, I know they have a good offense, and you know, they're going to have good players, and they're one of the top schools in their conference. Um, so, you know, I expect them to be, you know, a challenge for us, you, especially you this, if we come out flat. Do you think this could be struggling the way you did against Hawaii can be a really a blessing in disguise? Because you get all this uh, adulation, and then people goes, you know, under a like, unanimous number one team, all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you struggle against a team that most people don't expect you to struggle. Do you think that may pay off? Yeah. I mean, I, I well, for one, I, like, I think our defense played great. Um, so I don't think it was, you know, overall struggles. Um, you know, I think our special teams played really well. It, you know, I, there were good things that went on, even offensively, even though it, you know, didn't necessarily seem that there was. Um, but it is good to just kind of realize that, you know, you're not just going to go out there and just because you're the number one team in the country, you're not going to just dominate anybody. <clears throat> Um, and, you know, everybody says that we're going to get every team's best shot, and, you know, they played really hard against us. Um, and that, that's good for us to realize that, you know, we actually have to go out there and execute and play hard and, you know, do what we're coached to do to win those games the way we should.